So I got a comment on one of my Ample Sound guitar reviews asking if I can show how to use Scalar by Plugin Boutique and use that to trigger the guitar. So it's really a lot of fun and it's very, very easy. Let's get started. So first, what is Scalar? Scalar is a platform for music theory that can translate into MIDI. So you can create chords, chords progressions, melodies, strumming, even bass lines. And it has two modes. It has the keyboard mode and we, it has the guitar mode. And so we are, first of all, going to set this to guitar. Next, I'm going to click scales and I'm going to select a scale. So that's going to be C minor. And let's have a listen. And it still sounds like a felt piano because that's what we have set here. And by the way, you can just browse through the sounds. You don't have to use an external or a different virtual instrument. You can use that like this and it's, it's absolutely fine, but we are here to connect the two plugins. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to off. I'm going into my guitar channel, which in this case, it's Ample uh, Guitar L. And I'm going to set the MIDI input to be the scalar two. And now there will be no sound. And next, I'm going to set this to, uh, to monitor. Just going to monitor the sound. And now when we're playing our scale in Scalar, it will sound like the guitar. So I'm going to grab the first chord. And next, I'm going to use something really cool. I'm going to use the Suggest. So now we have options how to continue this chord progression. So let's grab this one and the next. And I'm going to finish with the G minor and let's have a listen. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just have a little bit of fun with different things that you can do with Scalar. So you can click this performance here and you'll have choices like arpeggio, we have strumming, we have uh, performance, phrases, and other things that we're going to explore in a moment. Let's start with arpeggio and I'm going to just click the play. And we have other things that we can do. So for the arpeggio, we can set this instead of just up to be up and down repeat or maybe uh, up and down without a repeat. And we can change the rate and that can be maybe um, dotted. Very cool. Let's add a little bit of fun with drums. Now it doesn't sound really in, uh, in sync, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all these chords and just put them in my track, in my session, so it'd be easier. And let's see how that's done. So all you need to do is click MIDI capture. And now it is listening. It is recording the MIDI that's going to play. So I'm going to hit play. And that's enough. And now let's stop. And I'm going to just drag and put that right here. So now this is what we have. Let's have a quick look. And we have the MIDI ready for us, though we have few notes from the next round. I'm going to just remove those and I'm going to go back, trim that down. And now let's have a listen. I'm going to try something else. I'm going to go instead of arpeggio, let's go with performance. So in performance, when you select 
the performances, you'll see that you have a choice of different, well, it is different styles and different speeds or different energy for the performance. So we can go from very mild and slow to more lively. So let's try something here. And if it's too fast, we can just slow it down. All right, let's go back to one and we can try something else. Next, let's try something again here. I'm going to try the phrases. You get the idea, right? So next, we can also try the rhythms and melodies. So let's do that. And well, you can always generate the different MIDI patterns and then continue and edit them. We can try also the melody. And we also have some other things that you can do, for example, sequences. Not everything will work perfectly, but you need to try and you need to see what works for you. And so now let's go and try also the uh, basses and see how that sounds. And I'm going to use that to trigger my bass guitar. So in a moment, let's go back and go with some of the phrases. And have a listen. I'm happy with that. Let's generate the MIDI. All right, I'm going to stop and drag. So now let's use Scalar to generate our bass line. Right, I have the ample bass J and let's close that and duplicate our Scalar track. I'm going to duplicate and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up and let's try and find something for the bass. I'm going to go with bass. And it suggests that I'll pick sound that is optimal for bass, but it doesn't matter because we are routing the MIDI into our virtual instrument. And so now let's have a listen. And there's nothing going on because it is not connected to anything. So let's go into Ample Bass J track. And instead of all MIDI, I'm going to just select this second scalar. And now let's have a listen.
So we have a lot of choices in different styles like pop, house, jazz, funk, and so on. So let's try something and let's go with rock. <laughs> And again, I can just create a MIDI capture here and let's play. And I'm gonna stop and drag that into our Ample soundtrack. So let's do that. And now let's have a listen. That is pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. Let me know in the comments if you have more questions. Of course, we didn't cover Scalar here and definitely didn't even start to see what's the potential of this amazing plugin. And so if you want to see more and if you have any questions, again, always leave comments. Like this video if it was if any help for you, consider clicking the thanks button just below this video and also consider joining my uh, membership program where uh, you and I can also chat one-on-one -on -one sessions and you'll get free plugins and discounts and lots of stuff. I'll see you guys in the next videos. Thanks and bye-bye.